Hey mates, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is a place to learn and share about Powerbrick and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So today we are diving into some of the major announcements for Microsoft Build 2024. Last week, we were there in person in Seattle Convention Center, and, and it was like a, an epic event. What do you think, Gaston? Yeah, that was really awesome. Impressive, the keynote and all the great sessions that they delivered there. You know, to our PowerMates family, remember that you can download what we call the Book of News. Check in the description of this video uh, to check all the details and the announcements that happened at Build 2024. Of course, I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on the data and the AI announcements. I know I have some bias about that. Uh, so let's go over a little bit on, on those details. I promise to cover the other side, the business application side. So that sounds really, really interesting. So what you can share with us about the data on AI world? Something that I, I, I would love to start, you know, sure, is uh, Satyas in his keynote announced for Fabric the whole new workload and what's happening in what we call right now the real time intelligence workload. That was impressive. And then some of the key topics, you know, first of all, kind of the Fabric workload development kit where you can start, you know, exploring the idea of creating your own solutions and publish that into kind of a marketplace for Fabric ISVs. Then the Fabric data sharing feature, the GraphQL API to create user data-defined functions in Fabric, the AI skills where you can package your knowledge around Fabric and then push that to Microsoft Teams and you can interact directly in Microsoft Teams with your own data in Fabric. Uh, Copilot everywhere now is going to be in real time uh, intelligent workload and also in the data warehouse stream. For the data integration, bunch of things happening, introducing the data workflows in Fabric, uh, the blob storage, even triggers for data pipeline, the get data experience that is kind of changing a lot in the pipelines, uh, sell things, GA for the Power Query connectors SDKs for Visual Studio Code, the trusted workspace access in Fabric data pipelines, the data flow chain to refresh history uh, and the older refresh history announcements from data flow chain to the new pipeline activity hd insights another pipeline activity for supporting spark shop definitions and the parent child pattern monitoring improvement so a lot of things going on around uh, the data and the AI space we are going to be exploring a little bit more details in upcoming videos but that's pretty much a lot of announcements coming to the data and the AI world Wow, so many announcements. It, it, it's hard to, to catch up with everything, you know? Yes, and you know, uh, there's, there's there, there was kind of a whole blog post that we are going to be showing in the description of this video about, you know, data integration. Miguel Lopez did a really great job catching up with everything around that framework. So let's kind of catch up in the business apps world. What happened there, Alex? Can you share some of the announcements with all of us? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's uh, a bunch of announcements and, of course, many of them related with Copilot and, and AI. So let's start with the Copilot announcement, you know, uh, Copilot agent, agent for Microsoft Copilot, like we lack as an agent that can, you know, independently orchestrate tasks tailored to specific roles. Then we have Copilot Connector that's going to I'm going to love you that, buddy, because uh, Copilot Studio, you know, will bring together Microsoft Graph, Power Platform Connectors, and the AI skills in the Microsoft Fabric world. So they're going to love you. Uh, publish Copilot uh, extensions to Copilot uh, for Microsoft 365 directly uh, within Microsoft Teams. Then uh, Copilot extensions uh, to Copilot um, will be published through Partner Center. Uh, then conversational uh, analytics in Copilot Studio uh, will give deep insight into the user engagement. Then we have templates that will allow users to build Copilot uh, faster with pre-built template, you know. Then kind of a mix of Copilot and Power Automate, you know, as 
you know, one of the videos for Satya Keynote, the new AI recorder uh, that will create a more natural multimodal experience with users to create, you know, uh, flows showing what you want, you know, and recording the task you want to automate. There are specific on Power Automate. Uh, AI flows in Power Automate uh, will offer a brand new type of outcome-based automation that will allow on some point to use generative AI to achieve some results. Then on the Power App space, uh, introducing the code view Power App is like we we can use like uh, the code view and we are going to view and use the source code for the Canvas app. Then we are going to have a uh, native Git integration. Uh, then uh, Power App is also bringing uh, that collaboration to Canvas app. We were using some kind of preview of that, but now we are going to be able to work with multiple users in the Canvas app. Uh, then on the Dataverse side of things, uh, using the new uh, Security Hub feature in the Microsoft Power Platform Admin Center. So the admins will be able to uh, quickly assess the security for tenant. Then on the Power Pages, uh, our pages introduce the security workspace uh, that simply integrates uh, into the Power Page Design Studio that will provide the value, you know, security features and safeguards for sites. And last but not least, the uh, Power Pages uh, upgrade uh, with the WAF, you know, web application firewall. So we also offer an enhancement on the capabilities, including, you know, uh, IP filtering, uh, geo filtering, and, you know, strains against cyber threats. So that's all for today, PowerMate. Uh, leave some of your comments, like the video, uh, if you want us to continue showcasing one of these features, and, and see ya. I saw a bunch of announcements around Copilot Studio, so we yeah. are going to be trying to catch up on Copilot Studio integration with Fabric. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for all the inside tutorials and exciting news here in our channel. We will be covering all these announcements from Build in more details in upcoming episodes, so stay tuned for that. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential on Power Platform and Microsoft Fabric. See ya.